Hey everybody, welcome to Brew Talk Season 1, Episode 5. This is the web series where I'll give my thoughts and opinions on the Brewers as they progress throughout the season. And not a, not a lot of great news to talk about today. The Brewers have continued their slide. They're now 5-11 and after the All-Star break. Uh, they were once 5.5 games atop the NL Central. Now they're only 2.5 games back, which is a pretty dramatic slide for 2-3 to three weeks here. Uh, they went 2-4 and four in this past week. They uh, lost two against the Nationals and two against the Cubs. They won the first game of each series. And that's kind of unfortunate that the Brewers didn't win at least one of those series because usually when you win the first game of a series, you have a lot of confidence that you're going to end up winning the series. But such was not the case with the Brewers here, um, which is unfortunate. But they came really close to winning both series and game uh, two of each series. They blew late leads. And contrary to what a lot of people think, uh, this slide that the Brewers on are on right now is not because of entirely because of the bullpen and let me elaborate uh the brewers are a team that relies a lot on the home run ball and the brewers have just not hit the home run ball in the past few weeks here they just we haven't hit a lot of home runs and naturally with teams like this when you can't hit home runs your offense suffers and thus you lose a lot of baseball games and that's what's happened to the brewers here they cannot hit home runs so uh They've fallen off, and when the Brewers can't generate any offense, uh, what's going to happen? Obviously, you're not going to win a lot of games, and this is a rough stretch that every every team usually goes through, and the bad teams go through them a lot, far more often, and the good to great teams go through them far less often, and that's what separates uh, good and bad teams here. Bad teams are going to have a lot of these stretches, while better teams are going to have less of these stretches. This is the first time the Brewers have had a stretch like this all season, where they have just been completely unable to score any runs. Only two times that I can think of have the Brewers... Three times, actually. Three times that I can think of that the Brewers have scored more than four runs in these past 16 games, and that's just that's just not the Brewers baseball we're used to seeing this season, because our, our team has won games because of the, how many runs we've scored. And... When you obviously our bullpen is not good, but when you entrust our bullpen to hold two to one leads, I mean you're just setting yourself up for failure there. And the Brewers have been able to manage without a bullpen this entire season, but now it's coming back to bite them. And unfortunately, the Cubs got hot at the exact same time, so now we're two and a half games back of the NL Central. And the way the Cubs are playing right now, it's hard for me to envision the Brewers even getting the NL Central lead back, to be honest. And if the Brewers are to make the playoffs this season, I believe that the Brewers will be a wild card team. And uh, if you look at the standings right now, the Brewers are five and a half games back of the second wild card. Um, the Rockies currently hold the second wild card, and a lot of people are thinking, "Oh, well, two and a half games is more than five and a half games. Why do you think it's more likely that we win the wild card than that we win the NL Central?" And the Rockies are a team that can be inconsistent as well, and the Bru- I mean, the Cubs have not been the greatest this year, but they are really putting things together right now. They've made a lot of good trades that have been, are improving their ball club, and it's hard for me. It's just hard for me to see them falling apart. Or it's I can envision the Rockies losing a five and a half game lead in the next two months. I can't. I can't envision the Cubs relinquishing the Sun All Central lead at all in the next two months. I just can't. And that that doesn't mean it can't happen, but. I just, I just can't, I just don't see it. So if the Brewers are to make the playoffs this season, they're going to win the wild card. So, um, let's see here. I saw a stat yesterday that said the Brewers are 0 for 31 with runners in scoring position, and that's a stat that is very concerning to me. Because it's a franchise record, by the way. That that has never been done in Milwaukee Brewers franchise history. We've not ha- ever had 31 at bats. Uh, where we haven't got a hit with runners in the scoring position. And that's a, that's a number that really needs to, the Brewers really need to improve on. And it's something that uh, great teams are good at. I mean, you look at the 2015 Royals when they won the World Series. That team, they didn't rely on the home run ball as much, but when they couldn't hit the home runs, they were able to manufacture runs. And they were a team that batted around a lot. And they were a team that was able to string together hits. And the Brewers just haven't been able to do that. And the Brewers really haven't ever been able to do that in the past in the past five years or so. The Brewers have been a team that relies on the home run ball a lot, and whenever they go through stretches like this where they can't hit it, naturally they have a little bit of a slide. 
Now, I do believe the Brewers will get it together, though. I don't think the first half is a fluke, and I think this is just a rough stretch the Brewers are going through. I'm not sold on making the playoffs this year. I'm not. I know I said I was back around the All-Star break, but I didn't envision this happening. But, uh... I'm just, I, I'm not sold on them making the playoffs, especially with how Cub, good the Cubs are doing. But no matter what, this is going to be a successful season for the Milwaukee Brewers, no matter what happens. And this is easily a team I could see winning 85 to 90 games, for sure. And remember, everybody, I mean, this we're, we're still in a year two or three of a rebuild here. I mean, the... Look, if you look at the Cubs, the Cubs took about five years to rebuild. Now, we're so far ahead, ahead of schedule here. And, I mean, no, regardless of what happens this season, you have to be uh, you have to be happy with what you've seen so far. And, I, I, like I said, I could definitely see them winning 85 to 90 games but with how good the NL is to, this year. I, I'm not sold on the playoffs. And we'll just have to see what happens. And it's all going to start with the St. Louis series here. If we can take... The St. Louis series, I think it will move the Brewers in a positive direction, and we'll see where we go from there. So, other, another news to talk about, the trade deadline is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 3 p.m. for us folks here in Wisconsin. Meaning we have about three hours left. Uh, it's right about noon right now, 11.57 a.m. Uh, Central Time. Milwaukee really doesn't seem to be overly interested in any one player, but there are a lot of names on the table for the Brewers right now. Uh, such names such as uh, Justin Verlander, I believe, uh, Dan Strally, um, even uh, some offensive players like Curtis Granderson are also on the table. Uh, there's a big list. I do believe the Brewers are out on the Sonny Gray talks, which is unfortunate, but the A's were, um, were uh, asking for Lewis Brinson, and that's just not something that the Brewers wanted to do. And I'm glad we didn't do it because Lewis Brinson, I believe, will become a very good player for this Milwaukee Brewer team. Uh and he really showed his uh, potential with those two great catches he made in the Cubs series. Uh, if you haven't t- taken a look at those, go uh, go watch those catches. Those are pretty amazing. Um, uh, but, as a, I mean, that's really all I have to say in this video. Um, the Brewers will play St. Louis uh, in, uh, this week, and hopefully we can get something going uh, with that series, even though the, the St. Louis Cardinals have always been the Brewers' Achilles heel here. But... Uh, if we win the series against St. Louis, that'll give our team confidence, and hopefully we can improve and move on from there. Um, but anyways, that's all I have to really say in this episode. Uh, I do not know if I'll have an episode next week because I will be on vacation with my family for about a week. Uh, I will try to um, get a vi- talk video in, but I cannot make no any promises. I think I'll be able to get a highlight video in, but... Uh, we'll have to see on that one. But uh, anyways, that's all I really have to say in this video. Uh, go check out uh, Brew Pack 8's channel. I'll leave a link in the description. He's got a lot of great highlight videos and talk videos like myself. So uh, go check that out here. Um, that's all I really have to say in this video. I'll leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.